Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the sixth episode of my weekly series where I go over my ideas for possible Alola forms coming to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you've missed any of the other episodes and want to see them, there's a card in the upper right hand corner that you can click or tap up there that will link you to a playlist including all of the past episodes, this episode, and all of the ones that will be coming in the future. And like all of the other episodes, while the ideas for these Alola forms are mine, the art was made by Really Dark and Windy, whose YouTube, DeviantArt, and Fakemon Wiki links are down in the description below. But without further ado, here are my ideas for an Alolan Bisharp. Bisharp is a Pokemon that I think is somewhat likely to get an Alola form in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, if we do indeed get new Alola forms. It wasn't available in Sun and Moon at all, which is big points for it, but it's not a Johto Pokemon. It's a Gen 5 Pokemon, and as I've discussed in other videos, I think Johto Pokemon are the most likely to get Alola forms. But they've surprised us with new Gen 5 forms in the past, so... Who knows? I would like to see Bisharp change from a Dark Steel type to a Grass Fire type, a never before seen type combination that I would very much like to see. But before I get into why I want to see this change happen, be sure to vote in the upper right hand corner in the poll card and let me know whether you guessed Bisharp correctly from the silhouette from last week, both whether you got the species correctly and if you got the typing correctly. I don't think either of Bisharp's typings fit all that well with the Alola region. Both the dark and the steel type I think would be things that would alter if it came to the Alola region. Now of course there are other dark and steel type Pokemon in the Alola region, but for Bisharp specifically, I don't think it fits. Bisharp is a Pokemon that's been very aggressive and fierce in order to survive, but since the Alola region has a much more nurturing environment, I don't think it would need those characteristics anymore. So because of that, it would no longer need to be as aggressive, thus losing its dark typing, and it would also need less protection from attackers, thus losing its steel typing. I think it would make a lot of sense for those typings to be replaced with a much more suitable typing for the lush Alola environment, which would be grass. My Alolan Bisharp takes inspiration from Hawaiian customs, mainly tiki's and hula skirts. Its body becomes a wooden, tiki-patterned body, and it also gains a hula skirt, thus accentuating both the grass type and the Hawaiian inspiration. But it also would gain the fire type, its helmet being replaced by open flames. This is mainly there to be a nod to tiki torches, since the rest of its body is based on Hawaiian customs, but it's also mostly there because I thought it would look badass. I was correct. I really like this design and I think it allows for some really creative ways of launching attacks. For example, all of its fire type attacks would come from its head and all of its grass type attacks would come from its body. For stats, I would like to see some substantial changes from original Bisharp stats. The first is that I think its attack and special attack should switch. Original Bisharp is very suited for physical attacking with a metal body covered in blades, whereas Alolan Bisharp is not so much meant for that. I think it makes more sense for it to be a special attacker because like I said, it would blast fire attacks from its head. I also think its defense and speed stats should switch as well, since a metal covered Pokemon is going to be good at taking hits much better than a wood covered Pokemon, but the fact that it loses the metal parts of its body means that it's going to be able to move a lot quicker and more nimbly. And finally, its abilities, I think it should either get Flash Fire or Leaf Guard. Flash Fire would be great since it could just absorb flames into its Tiki Torch head, and Leaf Guard makes sense because in the sun, those hula skirt leaves could be useful for guarding itself against status conditions. It's kind of funny how this Pokemon would be so phenomenal in the sunlight. I would love to see this in the games and definitely use it on a sun team. So there we have it. Those are my ideas for an Alolan Bisharp. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on my ideas, and if you have any different ideas for an Alolan Bisharp, let me know those as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. I make a ton of Pokemon content that I am certain you will enjoy. And of course, here's the silhouette for next week's episode. Try and guess both the species of the Pokemon and what you think its new typing will be. Let me know in the comments below. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all! Everybody, 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 everybody wants to get down.